protect swimmers and surfers from shark attacks in Western Australia. The sharks are on Twitter, whether they like it or not. Jonathan Samuels of our partner Sky News shows us why some humans are concerned about the new warning system. Shark in the round, about 500 meters. Patrols by air and sea are the traditional ways of spotting sharks off Australia's coast. But now, when sharks swim too close to beaches, they send a warning message themselves via Twitter. Scientists have attached transmitters to well over 300 sharks, like this four metre long great white. When a tag shark swims within about a kilometre of a beach, it triggers an alert which is picked up by computer. That computer then instantly turns the shark's signal into a Twitter message. And I can see here that a tagged tiger shark was recently spotted off this coast. By following the shark's tweets, surfers and swimmers can make an informed choice about whether to go in the water. A system far quicker than old-fashioned warnings in local papers and on the radio. You might not have actually got some of that information out till the following day, uh, in which case the, the hazard's long gone and the, and the information might not be relevant. So what we're seeing now is it's uh, you know seconds um, in the delay. Western Australia is now the world's deadliest place for shark attacks. The local government believes preventative methods like Twitter, whilst useful, aren't enough. It's just sanctioned putting out bait and hunting large sharks off popular beaches, a move that's angered conservationists. This is a simple knee-jerk reaction based on zero science whatsoever and it is not going to have any positive benefit for beachgoers and, and their safety uh, and it's certainly going to have a decimating effect on any great white sharks or uh, other endangered shark species caught. The chances of being attacked by a shark are minuscule but every attack breeds fear and damages the local economy. Whether it's using Twitter or introducing a cull Australians are now wrestling with how best to deal with a growing problem. For CBS This Morning, I'm Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Perth.